So airmen are rushing to get the flights to leave JKIA before midnight because at midnight everything shuts down. The staff say they want a total shutdown. And that means even flights cannot land and take off because members of the Kenya Aviation Workers Union includes air traffic controllers. Just every single aspect of the airport run by Kenya Airport Authority staff will not go on as they oppose the plan to transfer the operation of the airport to the Indian farm known as Adani. Chaos erupted in Kenya main international airport, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, as workers went on strike protesting potential deal between the Kenyan government and an Indian company by the name of Adani Group. <laughs> Dozens of uh, airport workers scuffled with police while they were chanting Adani must go. So the strike caused a massive freight delay and cancellation affecting hundreds of passengers and people who are traveling. The Kenya Aviation Workers Union claimed that the deal with Adania could lead to job losses and hiring of non-Kenyan workers. So this is a deal that most Kenyans, including me, are against. We don't want this deal because of many reasons. Reason number one why we don't want this deal and we think this deal is fishy is because we can't trust our government. Before we even continue with this, I um, want you to watch this video and understand where we are coming from. Adani JKIA deal. <laughs> I think the last cabinet had brokers inside because <laughs> how would Adani want to spend 1.8 billion to upgrade and expand JKIA? While Qatar Airways in Rwanda wants to build a very good airport at the amount of 1.3 billion. Secondly, I did not see any committee that sat with the then transport CS keep Chumba more comment to engage in any discussion because he was the transport cabinet secretary at that time. 1.8 billion is enough to build a new functional airport. So Adani would have come and built their own airport. They could have leased land to them. But now there is a broker in between Adani, the cabinet secretary in then, Kipchumba Murkomen, and Nabi. I really want to know who the broker is. What shocked me more is this, that that deal between JKA and Adani will be compensated if there are interruptions from courts, or parliament or protests. I have come here this morning to tell you that our parliament, our government, our cabinet is run by brokers. What about on book? You can hear, we can hardly trust our government when it comes to such deals. How did Adani came to be? Because Adani is known to uh, conspire with the authority or conspire with the government to get most of these deals and this was visible in indian government so i'll lead you a new article that uh, was written uh, by an indian business magazine so this new article talk about how adani holdings sprouted out of nowhere they came out of nowhere within a very short period of time which is very very unlikely of such a massive um, company now this is uh, was written by umesh Gujarati. So they say, although Adani's uh, business was big, it was not as traditional as Tata's and Beeras. It was recently erected. Even in the 2014 election, the candidate who was the contestant for the post of Prime Minister and the current Prime Minister, Nalendra Modi, was campaigning in Adani's own aircraft. Adani's group logo and the name were also on those planes. But his investment in this Modi benefited greatly. After the victory in election, Adani's business also skyrocketed. However, due to Modi's desire, India's economy started to scramble. Modi granted law shelter to Adani, thus expanding his empire in a short span of time. So you can see how Adani Holding conspired with the authority to be offered, let's say, a jumpstart in the business. 
And then after that, you come to see that last year or last financial year, Adan is holding made losses. Ministry of Civil Aviation's data shows that all seven Adani Group run airports in the country made losses in FY23. The case is the same for most PPP airports. Among the PPP airports, the one that made the most losses in FY23 was the Sardar Vallabhai Patel International Airport in Ahmedabad. Here the loss was Rs. 408.51 crore. Rupees. In India, 14 airports are run in the PPP model. Of them, 7 are operated by the Adani Group. This includes Mumbai, Guwahati, Tiruvannathapuram, Mangaluru, Jaipur, Lucknow and Ahmedabad. Even though all these airports made losses, the holding company Adani Airports Holdings Limited made profits in FY23. This is according to the company disclosures. So what exactly is happening with these airports? Experts whom we spoke to say that a lot has to do with the government's aviation policy. Also, they say that the development cost recovery in bigger airports like Ahmedabad and Mumbai will take time as air traffic picks up. Of all the airports operated in the PPP model, only Bengaluru, Kochi and Hyderabad were profitable during the last fiscal. The Bengaluru airport was... So as you can hear from the video, a uh, majority of the airports in India that are managed by Adani Holdings ended up counting losses in the last financial year that is 2023 so that leads us to asking one question is it really worth it to give our airport to the adani you cannot allow this to happen because airport is one of the most strategic property that a state is supposed to own we need to protect ourselves from human trafficking sex trafficking drug trafficking and if you're not in charge of your own airport then i believe you are not that secure guys we will be prone to danger in future. Let me tell you why I know JKIA was sold. It was sold for three reasons. Number one, poaching. They want to give the airport to a foreigner so that a foreigner is not scrutinized by the government. Why? To take away all our animals in Africa. They will be passing through JKIA. Uh, our rhino, our elephant are in danger. Because, and our rare animals will also be taken away. Remember the time when a container was discovered with rare animals in Kenya? Rare breed? That is going to happen because that's what they want to do in Kenya. Number two, they want to make drugs accessibility to Kenya very easy. Very easy. So Kenya will become a conduit of Africa in terms of drugs. Number three, they want to continue stealing our minerals. Our minerals, they will be going through JKIA and through more international airport. Why? The government is not in control. It is Adan who is controlling. They will be, Adan will be in control of storage. They will be in control of what, everywhere. So they will store whatever they want to store there. Kenya will become a smuggling country. The last reason they want to take JKIA is so that they can control who is coming into Kenya. Foreigners will come into Kenya. Kenya will be flooded by foreigners because the airport is run by a private company, not the government. So for those reasons, President William Ruto is fighting so hard that Adani deal is not scuttled, is not messed, so that they know they have sold country. When you sell JKIA, I don't care. You have sold the country. Look at Rwanda, the deal they entered, you know, with, with, with an Arab country to construct a new airport and they will give them within that contract uh, 40 planes. And the deal is only $2 billion. president I'm not an economist. I'm a villager, but I understand these things. So, guys, we must keep on fighting for JKIA, whatever it takes. Thank you very much. Good day. So that is it for today. If you like this video, he give me a thumbs up. If this is your first time being here, um, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, for algorithm. Besheke speak. <laughs> Signing off. <laughs>